Hi, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to edit HDR photos for real estate photography. To start, import your photos to Lightroom. Then, sort your photos by file name to keep the photos in order during the HDR process. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range Photo. It is created by capturing multiple images with different exposures at the same time, mostly consists of three or more images. To produce an HDR photo, we need to infuse them. Select them first, right-click, stacking, group and stack, or you can select them all and auto-stack them by capture time. Then the Lightroom will automatically stack them. For the infuse process, you can also infuse multiple stacks of photos. Just select them all, then go to File, plug in Extras, and then click Blend Exposures using Lightroom Infuse. A dialog box will open. An Auto Align tab. Make sure this is checked so the Lightroom will automatically align the photos before blending them. Since we stack our photos on the Output tab, this batch mode should be checked. On Output files on the same tab, check the Create Blended Images in the same folder as the images in the stack to save the infused files in the same folder as the original. Still on the same tab, under After Blending, check Re-Import Image into Lightroom so Infused Product will automatically appear on Lightroom after Infuse. Beside that, you have the option to stack with originals. Stacking with originals will automatically group with the images you've stacked beforehand. It will be the first image on the stack. If you opt not to stack with originals, the infused image will appear beside the stacked images. Either way is fine. Then click Infuse Images. The progress can be viewed on the upper left corner of the screen, but since we infuse multiple stacks of photos, this will take time. When the infuse is done and you don't see the infused photos, go to the library and select the folder where you put the images. This will sort of refresh the folder. If you are still confused, the infused image is always a TIFF file. When the infuse is done, you can now start editing the photos with basic editing. That's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.